Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Foodie Gardening. I'm actually just walking down to the allotment now and it's a gorgeous day. So I just wanted to share with you how nice the walk down the river is. I've just finished work, had my lunch. I'm just enjoying the sunshine. I'm at the plot now and I've come into the greenhouse to film because it's actually a bit windy out there but it is still like really warm but I'm just getting a lot of wind noise on the camera. Loads of things are going really well at the plot and I really wanted to mention it because I feel like every week I kind of focus on the negatives and to be honest that's because they're the things that I need help and advice with. There's loads of things going really well. This week I took my excess tomatoes and planted them outside with loads of eggshells around them and they are doing really well and I've had no problems with slugs or birds on them so that's good. The broad beans, that the second lot of broad beans that I planted, they're starting to come through just a tiny little bit so that's looking positive as well. All of the fruit bushes have got berries on them and the greenhouse is raring to go. I've even pinched off some more tomatoes, again I've had these in the shot glasses and you can see those um, bits I've pinched off are rooting as well so I'll be able to get those planted on. Thanks for your advice on this grafted tomato as well, I have pinched those um, side shoots off that were growing below the graft and this seems to be doing quite well. We've got a few little flowers coming on it, it's not that big but there's some flowers, I think that's the white side and I think this side is the red side and there are a couple of flowers in there too. It's, it's it's pretty warm in this greenhouse so having said all of that I do have a couple of problems this week and these are with things that I overwintered and I'm not really sure if it's time to take them out yet I thought they would be in for a little bit longer and that is my red onions they are starting to go to flower on the top so I'm not sure whether I think I can leave them in the ground but I don't know if I need to snip the flowers off the top I think once they go to flower the the actual ball part of the onion isn't going to get any bigger and also I think I've got rust on the garlic which um, I'm not sure what to do with so do let me know about that it does it does it spread does it need to come out um, definitely need some advice there that's it for my little plot update this week um, I don't think there's anything else. No, I um, haven't planted out the sweet corn yet, but it's on my to-do list. But I keep saying it's on my to-do list this week. It really is. And I've planted um, a whole load of more sweet corn too. I think that might be um, a little bit behind, but I thought it was worth giving it a go because I didn't get that much sweet corn last year because the squirrels had it all. Um, so I want to make sure I've got plenty to feed myself and the squirrels for next year. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.